all right y'all welcome back to the channel and we got some interesting pattern testing starting today here for you regulars that might notice we're standing in a little bit different location and i've got three targets set up over there today that's because we're going to start patterning as many of your cheaper off the shelf budget loads that are for like skeet shooting small game upland bird hunting that kind of thing I've had several requests from different people to pattern test these typical like sixes, seven and a halfs, eights, that kind of thing. Some of them steel, others lead, because there's really not many other people out there that formally pattern test these style loads. They'll do kind of a review on them and shoot them at a piece of steel or a random piece of paper or target and say, yeah, that's, that's what you get. But you never really see the full pattern. And if there's anything we've learned so far just from turkey patterns, it's that different brands are definitely better or worse than others so this is how this is going to work first up i've got a chronograph set up right off screen there we're going to shoot three rounds through the chronograph and see if we can get an average now yes sometimes the chronograph gets funny when you're shooting your bird shot loads like this sometimes it wants to read the wad and it just throws weird readings so if we get three that's great next we've got the three targets set up behind me we're going to shoot 120 yard pattern 130 yard and 140 yard pattern once we shoot those patterns, I'll go down and I'll mark all of the hits as well as draw 10 inch and 30 inch circles on the paper so that way we can get pellet counts, pellet density in your pattern, all of that information. So to start out with, I brought back out the Remington 1187 Premier again, but to get us a baseline, at least to start with, I threw in the factory modified choke on this gun. It came out to measure at a 707 constriction. As we start testing, I will throw in a full choke and see what that can do. I might go down to like a skeet choke or an improved cylinder choke, whatever the case might be. We're going to test a wide variety of stuff and we're going to not only test that 1187, but we're going to test a couple other guns that I have as well. But the first round up on the testing block today are the Federal Upland Game Loads. These are steel shot Upland Game Loads. They're a 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch. 1400 feet per second one and an eighth ounce of number six steel shot so first off we're going to go over to the chronograph we're going to run three shots through the chronograph and see what kind of average we can get all right first shot up here on the chronograph 14 12 second shot 1381 third shot 1394 so that gave us an average of 1394 feet per second and the box called for 1400 so we're definitely right there on the mark for what they call for all right we're set up at 20 yards here for the first shot now i would let you all see the target but unfortunately you're not going to see anything because it's not any kind of reactive target so this is the angle that we're going to work with for now all right, we're set up back at 30 yards now, so let's shoot the 30 yards and see what we get. All right, we're back at the 40 yard target now, so let's shoot them and see what we can get there. All right, y'all, so this is what our 20 yard target looks like here. Now, right off the bat, yes, my drawing skills are not amazing, and I didn't have a template made up yet just to trace the outline of 30 inches, so I had to kind of eyeball it with a tape measure and. It's close enough but as you can see i didn't even bother counting the amount of pellets that are in the 10 and the 30 inch circle but as you can see pretty much all of your pellets are either in that 10 or in that 30 at 20 yards it's about a typical 20 yard pattern that you would expect out of that and i should have mentioned it earlier but yes i'm aware that a modified choke using steel is essentially like a full choke but this is what our 20 yards looks like with that Federal Upland six shot steel load. No problems there at all. There's really no voids or anything weird like that to look at. Solid pattern, nothing's making it through that. All right, here's our 30 yard pattern now. And as you can see, my circle skills have not gotten any better, but I did go ahead and count the pellets. In a 10 inch circle, roughly in the center of the pattern here, there's 68 pellets in there. And in the 30 inch, there's 185 pellets in there. Still a good, solid, consistent pattern. There's not really any super big voids. You get a couple as you get farther out 
towards the edge of this 30 inch circle here that maybe a dove could scoot through but if you put that pattern on them the right way and lead your shots no dove is going to make it through that swarm of pellets or rabbit or squirrel or groundhog or whatever the case might be that you might be using these for any other upland birds they're not going to make it through that at 30 yards so it's looking pretty good so far i would say all right and this is our 40 yard pattern my circle is just as bad as before but don't worry, we will get that sorted out and have a nice circle here in the future. But as you can see, we definitely started to open up a bit. There are not necessarily voids per se. I mean, they are voids, but there's still some of these gaps here that maybe a dove could fit through. But if you lead your shot right, I still don't think there's much of a chance of a dove making it through that unless he's all the way on the outside edges of the pattern. As you can see here, there's 37 pellets in your 10 inch circle and there's 205 in your 30 inch circle. It looks like these shells give us a relatively even pattern. There's no weird strings or shot chains or big giant voids or any donut looking patterns or anything like that. They seem to give a pretty nice and even coverage across the board here. So it definitely looks pretty good so far out of the modified choke in that 1187 for these loads anyway. And this is what one of those wads looks like out of those Federal Upland steel shells. Nothing really special, just pretty typical wad. There's no rips or tears or anything like that in it. No pellets or buffer material or anything like that left in it. Looks really good for a wad. Alright, well, y'all, the sun is making it difficult for shadows, but it's just what we're going to have to deal with. But what do y'all think about them so far? I think that was a pretty interesting test to see what those could do. I've never tested or shot even for that matter any number six steels anyway so I, I was really interested to see what those would do. And I definitely think we got some pretty decent performance out of them so far. They seem to be pretty nice and even patterns from what they've shown on the paper. But either way all in all what do you guys think so far? What do you guys think about these shells? What do you guys think about how we tested them? Do you like seeing the chronograph information as well as the circles and the pellet count and all of that stuff? Do you like seeing the 20, 30, and 40 yard test? Leave a comment and let me know what you think about how we're testing these so far. If you like what we're doing so far with this series, then let me know and we'll keep testing everything I can get my hands on. But with that being said, I'm going to get back to doing some of these other pattern tests that I wanted to get done out here today. So I'll see you all in the next one.